Bam, what's goody? Baywood here, and today I'm gonna be breaking down the amazing FL Studio auto-tune plugin called Pitcher. A lot of people hate on it, a lot of people don't know about it, and I've seen a lot of tutorials out there that just ain't explaining it right, or they're just making it too confusing. So I wanted to come with this tutorial because I thought it'd be valuable for someone out there. And by the way, if you're wondering about my hair, I was diagnosed with stage four cancer in February of 2021, and I just recently completed my six months of chemo treatment. So my hair is, you know, gonna slowly grow back over the next few months but it ain't nothing but a chicken wang and we healthy out here now so I'm doing good um, and if you guys are excited to learn auto-tune please smash that like button right now I'm excited about this because we're gonna do it completely from scratch let's go let's go I'm just gonna play you what we have there's no mixing no mastering it is just a dry raw recorded song so let's hear what we got now I'm playing what I feel is tell her she my everything and I'm disappearing Two-faced double dealing Telling you she busy but we're chilling in the evening this music group goes by South Coastal, really dope and super melodic. That's why I wanted to do an auto-tune tutorial on this. The first thing I like to do when I'm thinking about auto-tune and thinking about tuning a vocal is honestly just finding the key of the beat, as a lot of you guys know. And the way we do that is we're gonna send this these tracks to a track mode. We're gonna assign them. I'm gonna assign the beat to insert one. I'm gonna assign the vocal to insert two. Double click, open up the mixer track, and on insert one, I'm gonna add a go to more plugins. I'm gonna add a plugin called Auto Key. If you don't have this plugin, I believe it's like 50 bucks, but if you don't have this, you can you know find the key for free on autokeychain.com. So we're just gonna play it, it's gonna tell us the key, and we'll go from there. Two face double dealing, telling you she busy, but we're chilling in the evening. G minor. Okay, cool. The next thing I like doing is just finding a vibe for the mix before I even focus on the auto tune, just so we can get some sauce on it, some reverb and stuff. So on insert two, I'm going to try out a few of my vocal presets out of my new pack called Indie Sauce. Super excited about it. Uh, but it has 10 main vocal presets, so we'll go through a few. Um, let's try City Chillin', just drag and drop. And on all my presets, I have an open slot for the auto tune, so that's where we'll get into auto tune. Super awesome. Now I'm playing what I feel is Tell her she my everything and I'm disappearing Two-faced double daily Telling you she busy but we're chilling in the evening Busy in the evening, that's the reason If you don't know me baby tell me I said I'm sneaking around Sneaking around Cause you're stretching me out Okay so the vocal's a little bit low So all we do is turn up the beat down a little bit Because we're gonna master anyways at the end We can always turn the beat down a little bit Or we can turn the vocal up right? Now I'm playing what I feel Oh, I love that preset. Oh my God, that sounds great. Um, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please smash that like button. So now we have that open slot to add auto-tune. In most cases, I like having the auto-tune as the first plugin because what it's doing is it's processing every syllable. So if it has to process a bunch of vocal effects before it, it's just going to mess up. So that's why you want a dry audio going to auto-tune and then all your other plugins afterwards. We're going to add pitcher. Um, I believe you just have to download it. It's an extra download with FL Studio. Remember, the first thing we found was G minor. So we're gonna change the C to G. What a lot of people get confused is, is about sharps and flats. This is a little bit of music theory I wanna talk about. When you put in your beat into audiokeychain.com, it could say, G flat minor. What does G flat minor means? If you go from G, if you go flat, that means down. So if I go down one, I know this seems like up, but if you go from G to F, is, is that up or down in the scale of the alphabet? It's down because you're going backwards. So I don't like how they have it like this. This is the only flaw I would say in this plugin. G flat, so you're going back one. So that would mean F sharp, it would be equal to. So if you see G flat minor, it would be F sharp minor. What happens when we see E flat minor? What is that? Well, we go back, D sharp minor. In some cases, people produce in flats or sharps. Um, just remember that little tip, but we have it easy, G minor. The next thing we're focused on is the speed. If it's all the way fast like this, that means you're gonna have that heavy T-Pain, Lil Wayne vocal effect. Um, and honestly, my favorite setting on this is in the middle. It's not too much auto-tune, still new age, but it still keeps your natural sounding voice. I'm gonna start at medium and I'm gonna slowly increase it till I like it where it's at. But I have a feeling with this song, there's a lot of auto-tune, so. Now I'm playing what I feel is, tell her she my everything and I'm disappearing. The next thing 
is formatting. This is a very fun trick that a lot of people don't even know about. People think when you move this gender thing, um, it does something, it doesn't do anything until you put on this formatting. Check out what happens when I turn this on. I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna move this thing around to female to male. Let's see what happens. Literally, that is a perfect, perfect trick to use on your vocal layers or even your main vocals or your ad libs, harmonies. Try it out. I'm telling you, it's awesome. I try it out on every single song now. Um, the next thing you got is fine tune. This is going to change it by even smaller increments, but it is going to change your voice a little bit higher or a little bit lower. So let's see how that sounds. Now I'm playing with a fitness, tell her she my everything and I'm disappearing. If you guys are enjoying this tutorial so far, make sure to smash that like button. It really helps the channel. I appreciate it. Now I'm playing with a fitness. Tell her she my everything and I'm disappearing. Two face double dealing. Tell her you she busy but we're chilling in the evening. All right, so we'll put it back to zero for now. Once you find the speed of your voice that you really like, maybe it's the super fast, maybe it's the medium, keep it there and then change this from minor to all. When it's on all, it's going to hit all the notes, but you're still gonna have that auto-tune sound. You wanna put it in the, eventually the correct key because it's going to make sure that you are in tune with the beat. But if you're a really good singer or rapper, you can just keep it on all and it's gonna sound great. And then you're gonna hit this little triangle and you're gonna hit save preset as and just make it as your default. So then whenever you load up this auto-tune plugin, you can just hit default. Whenever you have a, a minor or major, also try the pentatonic because you're gonna get a like a more melodic scale. It's really cool. I and mean, this is something with guitar that I do all the time. Any song that's playing, I could play along because I know my pentatonic scale. It's very it's actually very simple. It's the simplest scale to learn, but check it out, it'll work. Now I'm playing with a fitness, tell her she my everything that I'm disappearing. Two face double dealing, telling you she busy, but we're chilling in the evening. Busy in the evening. See how it works? So try those different scales out. Obviously major and minor can be completely different, but always try pentatonic. Uh, that means five notes. That is my breakdown of the Pitcher plugin in FL Studio. If you don't have it, you can download it off image line or the FL Studio website um, as an add-on. If you guys um, have any other plugins that you'd like me to do a breakdown on, please comment them down below. Make sure to smash that like button. And if you are new here um, and you're interested in more recording, mixing, and mastering tutorials, please smash that subscribe button. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you're interested in any vocal presets or vocal templates for FL Studio or any other doll, check out the links down below. We have free packs and templates and we also have paid ones to support the channel and that are more in depth. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Now I'm playing with a feeling. Tell her she my everything that I'm disappearing. Two face double dealing. Telling you she busy, but we're chilling in the evening. Busy in the evening, that's the reason. If you don't love me, baby, tell me instead of sneaking around. Sneaking around, cause you're sketching me out.